Praise be to the one Allah who revealed the book to his servant Muhammad and did not make any distortion to it. I praise him Allah, the exalted one and the high. And I thank him, it is he who deserves the praise and gratitude. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the one who has no partner, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the servant of Allah, his messenger who was chosen by Allah. Allah, let your blessings and your peace be upon your servant, your messenger Muhammad, and on his family and companions. Amen. When Allah Almighty orders us to leave everything that we're doing and hasten to the mosque. It's not just a thinking of this is what we have to do. I'm a Muslim and this is what we do. Know why we do it. Know why any person that's going to any place of worship, a synagogue, a church, a temple, a mosque, Know why you're going. What are you going there for? To learn some rituals and to have an imagination that you have an imaginary relationship with a supreme being or someone who is able to do things for you? You have to understand, Allah Almighty brought us from a place that we already knew a lot. It's just like a bird that is in the nest. And after a while, the mother of that bird is going to push that bird out of the nest. Is that mother being cruel to that bird? That is the nature of that bird to be able to fly. But because that bird is new to the world, it does not know that it can fly. So it has to be prompted. It has to be pushed. In a situation where it just like falls out. It's falling out of the doggone nest. And the nest got high. You don't see no low nest. Nests are always high. So that the bird can have enough room. Once it drops to realize. Ah. Oh, By the same token, we have forgotten about Allah Almighty. So Allah Almighty pushed us to return to Him through trials and tribulations, difficulties, stressing us out, allowing Shaitan to attack us 24-7. Allowing our egos to be seduced by Shaitan to act like all kinds of things. I've never seen a human being that could not take on the personality of any animal. A snake today, a lion today, a tiger today, a dragon today. You see a human being in the morning by night, they're different. Switching up their behavior all day long. They don't know who they are and who's there. Don't have a clue. You watch them, observe them. No consistency in their being. That's a sign they don't have a clue who they are and whose they are. That's a sign they have forgotten who they are, where they come from, where they return. So they don't understand when they get directions, when Allah Almighty sends his servants among us, and our whole adab would manage is to hear it and obey it. Why? Because it's, it's, it's telling us who we are and whose we are, so we may return to that and do the will of the creator that brought us here. But we don't get it. 
We really still do not get it. East to west, north to south, people going into places of worship for what? Coming out just as stupid as we go in. Don't have no more power. Still relying on family, friends, and the government for sustenance. Never asking the law for anything. Even having to say, well, the law is busy. I don't want to ask that. You don't know the law, man. You've got to be crazy. Law says, ask. Allah Almighty looks to this world once a day between midnight and Fajr, and Allah Almighty asks, who is asking? This is the month of Raja. This is the month of blessings. This is the month in which Allah Almighty increases, multiplies good things. You should be doing good every day, all day long. There should be no opportunity for, left for you not to do something good. Give it up charity. Give it up everything you have. Give it, do it. Because Allah sends it back multiplied. If we're still holding our hands and holding our minds and with our knowledge and holding our hands in terms of our wealth and shutting our hearts down in terms of being compassionate to people, we're not growing. We're making our being to be a cesspool for shaitan. Making us act like different kind of animals or decadent beings, creatures all day long. Who are you now? I'm this. I'm so and so. Who are you now? I'm so and so. Go to school. Oh, I'm Dr. So and so today. Oh, I'm a lawyer. I'm an attorney. I'm this. Dr. Lawyer is the chief. Who are you? What are you? I'm a baseball player. This is not you. This may be where your talents took you to get your income, but who are you? Who are you? The sun comes up every doggone day. It rises in the, in, in the east and sets in the west. It knows who it is and whose it is. It shines. It does what it does. Everybody look out there and say, I know that's the sun is out. They look at us, they don't know who's you. We be switching up so much. How are we going to grow into manhood and womanhood? Don't nobody know who we are. Men turn into women. Women turn into men. What the hell are we doing? Because we don't know who we are and whose we are. We seeking some happiness, but we need guidance to remind us that's not who we are. And it's not that there's no, no compassion in dealing with people that don't have a clue who they are. All of the prophets, may Allah be pleased with them, were always compassionate among the people. Even when they came among Sodom and Gomorrah, they gave mercy to the people. Allah says, you change your ways, I change the way for you. Open up the door of repentance, I open up the, every, the blessings for you. There was no one repenting, and that's why Allah destroyed it. You think Allah's changed? Where the men at? You should be looking. How can I get become more of a man? What do athletes do? They want to get better. They want to go, okay, I'm going to this school. I'm going to talk to that coach. I want to talk to that ball player so I can get my game together all the time, get better, better, better. And they stay in the game, and they're champions because they talk to champions so they can keep being a champion. It's the same thing with men and women. Find out who the men of God is, the, the men of Allah, men and women of Allah. Who are they? Where are they? How can I become more of who I was created to be? Allah speaks, speaks about the best of people evolved for mankind. He's just not talking about somebody lost. It's always changing their, their, their personalities and their behavior. So wherever you are, I'm in Rome, I do as the Romans do. When I'm in Vegas, everything left in Vegas, do whatever you do when you want to do it. You only go around, so cook once, so get all the gusto you can. That is so sick. It should make you vomit. How can the world ever be a place, the kingdom of heaven on earth, if everybody is thinking like creatures of the hellfire? 
acting like creatures of the hellfire. Should make a movie. Creatures of the hellfire. Because they won't do what the law almighty has asked them to do through all the servants that the law almighty sent to them. They still won't do it. So their situation continues to be as it is. It ain't so difficult. It's basic and fundamental. Another one that's going to change this, but Allah Almighty never sent officials to change anything. Everybody talking about the, the doggone politicians, going to the ballot box. Get the Republican, get the doggone Democrat, get that person in. For what? They are in need of Allah Almighty just like we are. They just as lost. They're just convincing us that they're not. Who want to follow somebody that's lost? What's the benefit? No matter where they are and how much that they have, if they lost, they lost. We didn't come here to lose our souls. You ain't even going to gain the world, but you're still going to lose your soul just from chasing them. So we have to ask Allah Almighty during this holy month of Rajab to please wake us up. Because we sleep, we don't get it. We never have no power or strength to do anything to help nobody. We can't help ourselves. How are you going to get somebody to ride you got a floor to flat tire? Four flats. Everybody jump in the car, piled up, the gas filled up, the engine running. It's even been clean. It ain't going nowhere. So why does the law almighty orders us to pray? Why does the law almighty orders us to fast? Why does the law almighty orders us to be with those whom that they ask no reward from us and listen to them and, 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 uh, and apply what they say to us. Why does the law almighty in this say listen to those who ask no reward from us? Because the law almighty wants us to get that relationship renewed that's in us because we come from Allah and we return to Allah. The day of promises, we all promised to be obedient servants to Allah. We didn't know it was going to send us in hell now. You don't think this is hell? What was the punishment with Adam and Eve when they failed? They fell here. They fell in a place in where we are born now. Because our grandparents didn't appreciate where they were. So now we have to take their advice that's come through all the prophets don't do what we did. That's what they're saying to us. Don't, don't listen to shaitan. Don't allow your ego to be seduced by shaitan. Don't allow our egos to be disobedient to Allah Almighty's servants when they come to the directors to our Allah Almighty, our creator. We don't get it. That's why we continue to suffer in our lives, on our jobs, in our households, wherever we are. There's difficulties. We have lack of money, funny, sunny, and honey. Always lacking. Allah Almighty says the abundance is with the Rasul. Allah told the Prophet Muhammad, anybody that's going to be like you will have the abundance. Anyone that's not going to, that's going to hate you, they will be cut off from future hope. They ain't got to say nothing else. That's why it's the book for only for those who are wise, who have understanding. Understanding of what? Understanding of who they are. I know that they ain't no bird, dog, a frog, or a cat. That they're a human being from Allah, they return to Allah. They have a soul that requires treatment. Like we feed in our face all dog on day. I bet you ain't nobody missing no meals. That's why Allah Almighty sends Ramadan on us so that we won't eat or drink anything during the daylight hours from lawful things so that when Ramadan is over, we will be able to fast from those things that are unlawful to really gain our strength back, our power back, our, our sound mind back, our pure hearts back. The human beings have become the worst creatures on the planet. Everything in the heavens and the earth complains not against dogs and cats and snakes and rats. They complain against human beings. Listening to who? 
listen to the rebellious gen from a smokeless fire that are rebellious because they are gen that believe from a smokeless fire. But they are free gen that's from Satan. Their only purpose is to destroy humanity because Satan get, didn't get the Khalifa ship. And he ain't gonna never get it. Long as the law Almighty is raising up the servants, he ain't gonna never get it. Amen. So you ought to all just pack your stuff and get the hell out of Dodge. But he says he's gonna take all mankind astray. And then he says, except for those who are listening to the law Almighty, through the Rasul, through the ones that the Lord Almighty sent among us, those who listen to their Lord, I ain't gonna have no power. They don't like me, I don't like them. We stay away from each other. And that's why those servants are successful. Shaitan is not in their way. Allah tests them, the prophet tests them. Yeah, but they test to get stronger. They test like somebody going into the gym and says, okay, we're going to give you this exercise today. This is going to like make these muscles tight over here. You're going to get stronger. It's going to make your legs, not like Satan, that they come to destroy you, come to break your legs and your arms. Got to start thinking. Got to start thinking. Thinking is the highest form of worship. Don't die stupid. Don't die stupid. We hear, think, use your mind. And that's why Quran is the highest level of thinking. That's why it's recorded, so we can read it. So we can read how we should be thinking. But we have to do certain things that keep us in the, 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 the form of, of beginning to internalize it. So then, step by step, we begin to establish a relationship with that part of ourselves that's being fed that we don't even see. That part of ourselves that's connected to Allah Almighty. Now we begin to know Allah Almighty where? In ourselves. That's when you become powerful. Not reading no doggone books that don't know who the hell we are. But knowing who you are in yourself. Then the love will come the eyes in which you see, the ears upon which you hear, the tongue upon which you speak, the hands upon which you strike, the feet upon which you walk. Allah possesses you. Amen. Now, Allah can, you can be established and strength and power in the land. Now, you gangster in the land now. You controlling stuff. Shaitan ain't got no power. You moving around. You reminding people who they are and who they are. And they just looking for soldiers. That's all they do. They just looking for recruits. Allah says, obey me, obey the prophet, and obey those in authority among you. You obey them, you obey me. You love them, you love me. You go against them, you're going against me. So they're the real gangsters, not Shaitan and his crew. When are we going to get that? Because if we don't get it, we're going to continue to get our high pots kicked. Going into mosques, churches, synagogues, temples, don't matter. Read all the books you want to. Going to hides 50, 100 times a year. If you don't know who you are and whose you are, you're still going to be a punk to Satan. Still going to punk us out. Playing like we men and women. You think muscles make you a man or woman? You think money make you a man or woman? You think titles make you a man or woman? You think being an alderman or, or a mayor or a governor or the president make you a man or a woman? We have to rethink this. Because you can drop your buckets where you are and become who you are, who you were created to be, and do what you were supposed to be doing. And feel your manhood and your womanhood. A woman a long time she can fight for that. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi Laham. Alhamdulillahi, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala kabri musaleen, a nabi umi wa ahlihi wa sahbihi ajmin amaba. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the universe. May the greetings and the peace of Allah be upon the best messenger Muhammad, the unlettered prophet, and upon his family and all his
of his companions. Amen. Why was he the unlettered prophet? That means he couldn't read or write. He couldn't read or write. Because Allah Almighty wanted to show that he is a mercy for all mankind. He couldn't get it in his head because he would not be able to comprehend Allah Almighty's message through his mentality. Otherwise, Allah would have just sent photocopies of pages out of the sky and said, just read them and then you'll be cool. No. You've got to have someone among us whose heart is open to their Lord in a way that Allah has connected them to their Lord. Through a trainer, or through uh, uh, someone who has also been trained. All trainers have trainers, and they keep that trainers. It's called the rope of Islam. Sorry. We ain't never done it. What's the rope? What's the rope? What's the rope? Just grab one rope of Islam. Yeah, I'm Danny, brother. Yeah, I went to the mosque, brother. Yeah, I'm fasting, brother. Yeah, I got some miswack on, brother. I've been to Hajj. I'm on the rope. I'm on the path. That's what Shaitan wanted to think. Let me right there in on Hodge, throwing, we got stones, stone at the devil. The small devil, the middle devil, and the big devil. We got a stone, brother, give me a stone. Wham! Crack somebody upside the head. Thinking we throwing it at Shaitan. This is crazy. Remember Shaitan Nazim told me, may Allah continue to raise his rank? Amen. He said, after Rashid, with you on Hodge, take that stone and say, oh Allah, I'm putting my hand in your hand, and I'm throwing... The stone at the devil in me. Amen. You say, got us thinking, ain't no devil in you. What do you think the ego is? The nature of the ego. That's why it has to be trained. That's the law almighty's enemy. When the law created, it was rebellious. It has to be trained. Law told to go forward, came back. Told to come back and went forward. It's rebellious. It has to be trained. It has to accept Islam. It has to accept guidance. It's powerful. Because it was able to resist the law almighty. So if it's trained to be to be obedient servant to the law almighty, you gangster then. You a gangster. And Satan fears you. And if we don't, and if we're not being feared by Satan, we might as well just lock the doors and stay here and die to somebody come take our corpse out of here. Because you're going to be scared to go out there and fight. You're going to be scared to go in and establish what the law Almighty is putting us to establish. To give the people's hearts. To give them hope. And to be, and to be a help to them. Begging the law Almighty to forgive us during this month of Rajab. Woman Allah Tafiq al-Fatiha. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Malik yamidim. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina sirat al-Mustaqeen. Surat al-Ladina nam ta'alayhim Ghayur ma'adhubi alayhim wa la ta'amin Ameen Qa'kam na salat